All right. Acceptable amount of XP, but, you know, we have boosters. So, eh. Acceptable amount of money, too. Eh. Didn't do that much in terms of damage, though. Oh, well. We're learning the consistency of this vehicle, at least. It's not a rushing vehicle. You can't really get anywhere with it. And the armor isn't that all, all that amazing. So it's kind of like a, a very reserved type of vehicle. It's more of a sniper. More of a musketeer than a Gibraltar gun smoke, eh? Well, let's see here. What's the situation we've got here? 38 accuracy and 2.1 aiming time. So you know what I want to do. I want to throw the vertical stabilizer and the gun laying drive on top of it. I think that'll make our day very nice. But I also maybe want to consider a spell liner, all things considered. But we have enough money. And our boosters are out, unfortunately. So I'm going to throw a st stabilizer on there. And I think I'm going to keep playing. So, well, we've got plenty of credit boosters. And we're making free XP no matter what we do, so at least we're helping, assisting the grind for the artillery piece. And uh, crew experience, this also helps. Thank you. And they're at 67%. That's their first skill, technically. They, um, the zero skill, the, the zero skill units are a bit special in the regards that they can, uh, well, they have the skill basically attached to them for free, and then they then they come at 100%, and then they have their first skill. So basically, this is a very, very special sort of team that I have in this Thunderbolt. And that's good. So, it's a Tier 7 game. <sighs> hmm. All right. I don't feel terribly confident about facing down the enemy heavy tanks in the town. No, the only thing we have to worry about is the T-29. You see, in a lot of cases, it's just guessing with map, uh, with selection of which side to go down at the beginning of the fucking game. It almost makes you want to sit in the base until something's actually spotted. Your assistance has been requested. Which is, uh, you know what, hang on here. I used to do that in the Panzer III, to be honest. Back then, when I got a, when you got a tier, when you got a tier 6 game, or tier, God help you, a tier 7 game, that was back when it was plus 3 matchmaking. Oh God, those were days. What I do is I sit in a base and wait for the scouts to spot something, and then choose which direction to go based on the, based on the recon information being back fed to me. So you know what, maybe we should do that. Let's say I'm trying everything, at least I'm trying to learn. Mm. Yep, hands a bit slow on that one. Okay, so it looks like oh eyes, medium tanks. Where's the T29? Oh, 12 tons on this side. If I can find it. And then actually get a fucking shot there. Where did that go? Where did that go? God damn. A standing still couldn't fucking hit him. Okay, T29 is in fact in the town, which means that this flank is probably going to be fairly open. So we're gonna go this way. See, I'm already operating like an ace custom here, sir. I'm a specially deployed unit. I am Gundam full armor, it's just that I'm, well, honestly, more like GM full armor. You seen Thunderbolt? I'm like the GMs with the two shields, that's me. Which is good, too, because I like that design. Gundam Thunderbolt is fucking amazing. Unfortunately, I didn't finish watching the anime, too. Too many things to do. But it also seems like my kind of anime. Giant robots, musical references. What's not to like? You guys having trouble here with this scooter? Need a hand? I can help. However, I'm gonna die. At least I can be reconned now. There's that, now I gotta keep moving. Don't have my ammo rack, but I can keep moving and potentially spot the enemy fucking tanks. Oh boy. About this time the gold's probably gonna come in. See, this is a very concentrated rush. See, I can get away with this shit sometimes. But we still got the T-20 and we got a NAS horn to worry about at close range. That's not gonna be fun to fight. 
Quoi hmm. You might wanna... You wanna... You, you wanna... You wanna... You wanna... Nope. I got five seconds on my reload. You wanna pop out and shoot the Swede? Oh, he's behind the house. Well, at least we're keeping pressure on them. Where's the NAS horn, though? Okay, SC20. They got reinforcements. Hopefully, that T20 doesn't realize... Hopefully, he won't realize for another 20 seconds that my ammo rack is damaged. I need help here. Ooh, boy. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Put the shells back in the fucking rack. Okay, good. Now we got something to work with here. I can tank maybe one shot here. Oh, oh, this is what we're gonna do now. Ow! Well. Hey, hats off to you, Slav, and your fucking gold rounds. Oh, good. Good, fuckers. Oh, there's the Swede. Still didn't get him. I don't want to go get the T20 because that's the 90. I don't want to shoot be shot by the 90. The 90 hurts. Well, at least the 3485 is going to spot the Nashorn for the entire fucking team, but not help me. All right. Hello, sir. <laughs> Oh-ho! But now I'm fucked. He shot me in the tracks, but now I'm gonna actually not get anything done. Get him, Molotov! Need a hand? I got you. Good. See, that was a good game. I didn't do much damage, but I got three kills and broke that flank. You see, I'm still trying to figure out exactly where the hell this armor works and where it doesn't. That was very good, though. Steel Waldo. Very, very nice! Also, I kind of want to put... You see, that's what we want for the third module. We want wet ammo rack. We want to stop that shit from happening. Because that's fucking annoying. Yeah. Decline. I'm busy, sir. We didn't do terribly much, but I wound up with more XP. I'm top XP. See, that's kind of nice, isn't it? All right, so maybe we should... No, maybe we should play like that more often, don't you think? See, how much is a wet ammo rack? 200,000. Actually, fairly cheap. All right. I got safe stowage in there, which will probably stop that, but I'll probably bring that down to reasonable, but you know what? Maybe we want to make sure. Because that's really fucking inconvenient. Ah! Sorry. Had to move. Where is my... There it is. Looking for my water. Hmm. Alrighty, so, this situation is a little bit more in our favor, I think. We don't have anything, we don't have a real massive roadblock. The Yag Panther's, Yag Panther's kind of suspect, but we can shoot gold through that. The 4503 is also in the same league. It's very, it's very, it's very large, but the armor is kind of substandard. The gun's something to watch out for, though. It's kind of an entertaining vehicle in that regard. It's just really fucking big. But I think, honestly, we're gonna go this way. I don't think we need to wait for that kind of recon data because, honestly, I already know I don't want to get locked in with the higher tier vehicles in that congested area. Because I'm not good in those situations because they just kind of find their way through my armor like that. So, what I want to do is want to use my fairly large sections of mostly impervious armor at my tier and get some distance between all of them and then use my slightly above average gun handling to rain shells on them from a, from a distance, which is what? A panther.
So we're gonna roll this direction. And we're gonna click at things, and hopefully we don't expose our side to too many fuck- Oh, look at all the T-67s, my god. The Manther, we can handle him. However, I don't want those T-67s creeping up on my fucking side. Probably shot me in the... Hmm. Where is he shooting me? Ow! Great, artillery. Fantastic. It was a good plan. It just isn't working. Oh, boy. Fuck out of here. Well, I'm already down basically all of my health. Fantastic. Ha! Uh, 99 damage! What an amazing crippling blow to the full health panther. I'm sorry, proto panther. Manther. Okay, so we might be able to push something through here and get a kill. If we're lucky. Cool. Back the fuck up! I got something here. Maybe wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Wait, 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 no. They're retreating, no. Oh, you son of a bitch. I got him. No, I don't fucking got him. We lose more Shermans like that. That's a 301H? I want to be careful of him because, you know, that fucking conical. That'll surprise you. And I don't have much health left, but, well, I think we can press now. I think the KV-1 and the Panzer IV H will keep the T-67 over there in check. Hopefully, maybe. Got yeah, they got him. Hello, sir. Okay, good, he's dead. Die, fucking goddamn French artillery piece. Well, I lost all of my health in the, like the opening fucking five seconds of the game thanks to everyone spotting me and targeting me. Though it looks like, honestly, our team probably could have used a hand over in this area as well. So, well, I secured my flank. It just that the rest of our team didn't secure theirs. God damn it, AT-15A. Why? Why? At least in that vehicle, you see, at least it, when you got vehicles like that, I'm slow. So, when I go down a flank, there's no real, uh... There's real new question of, should I have gone down the flank or not? I have to go down the flank or I'm not going to get into the fight at all. Well. Looks like we're losing this one. Panzer IV, you can tank a shot from that motherfucker. Load gold and click him. Come on, you got skirts. You can handle it. And now you're not going to be able to because y'all waited too fucking long. Now the Swede's going to kill you. At least somebody got the yak. Yeah, that's a nice, that's, that, that's a nice pre premature, premature firing there, bro. That's a, don't worry, it happens to everybody, though. Just need to calm down a little bit. I know you're excited, but you got to last. Well, I don't think there's any question about what the fuck's gonna happen here. Hmm. That was a bright tracer. Could not tell if that was APCR or not. You can tell because... You can tell by what, what kind of shoot rounds that they're shooting just by looking at the tracer fire. Heat is gold and light blue, and APCR, if I remember correctly, is just light blue. Regular AP is gray, and as we all know, high explosive is orange. Somebody's mad. Hey, I helped. 
Nice job, T-67. Good off-road capabilities. Can you spite the B-2? Can you get him? Now you can't, because that thing's fucking broken. That's never gonna be fixed, because they don't nerf premium tanks. Oh well! Did slightly better in the damage department. All right. Hmm. So. Hmm. Well, we did pretty okay on our team, all things considered. We just still didn't do much damage, though. That's kind of the thing. It seems kind of hard to get damage out in this thing, because it's kind of hard to, like, get in in a fight and stay in a fight. Hmm. I need to find situations. I know why I'm doing that, because I'm not being aggressive enough in the right situations. But I kind of need to find exactly what kind of situations this tank can get away with. And that means I gotta play it a lot. A tier 6 game also helps. That's that's nice. I like that. I like more of those. Can I have more of those? I'll learn pretty quick with these, these kinds of fucking games. gonna go this way because I think we can fight on the dunes with this and I don't we don't have the flanking speed to cover the uh, the northern side at least in this capacity we can hide whoa most of our armor or most of our tank and keep the the enemy fire coming at us from the front Sixty-seven. Way the fuck out in the open. Click. All right. Well, we got our damage in. Oh wait. Oh wait. Come on. Click. 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 Nope. He's gone. That guy isn't. Wait a minute. Good. Fucking. Yeah. I can't find the magic pixels. All right, so they're going down the middle. All right, we're gonna get over this dune so nobody can shoot us in the side. We're gonna keep advancing down this area and maybe sight up some people. However, our middle is just kind of collapsed because the OI got shot, but it was an experimental one. He doesn't have any fucking armor. <laughs> OI high mobility type. Well, it's the fucking Swedes and the tank destroyers that I fucking hate. Ah, couldn't get it. Oh. Hello, Sherman. I had line of sight on you, but I can't have my gun on you. Oh well, I've got gun depression. Uh. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, that's... Hmm. Space armor, not helping. It'd be nice if I had a jumbo turret, but I don't. That's the one thing the jumbo's got, hold down capability. This thing, it's kinda sorta nice, but as you saw, that didn't really stop the shell there. It'll stop heat shells, most likely. But, um, you know, I need more than that. Cromwell B. Now you see, I found myself in a bit of an awkward situation here. But I think I could still probably manage this. Somebody take out that T-67, please. Somebody. Anybody. He's sitting right out in the open. I could do it, but I'll get shot. Okay, he's dead. Alright, so we're gonna wheel around here. And keep going. Yeah, they got Creighton Abrams. Oh, no. Oh, that's why that shot went right through. It was APCR. How about that? 
Get out of here, Cromwell Big. Uh -uh. This is bad. I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, here comes everybody. Come on. Okay. Okay. Maybe got a chance here. Maybe. May maybe. See, I don't wanna... Ah. He flanked around me. I was too busy concentrating on everybody else. Ah, uh, fuck. You see, you know, I wanna fight, but every time I wanna fight, you just wander into a shit situation. And the only- and, and the thing is that you win- you win fights by not fighting. Like in this situation. Those guys are fighting, but they're just sort of sitting, waiting for us to move out. And I wanted to move out because I have armor, but I, you can't actually fight because there are more of them. And I can't control those kind of situations. <sighs> I suppose you could say, well, you could stop rushing into the fight, you dumbass. But that's the fight that's in front of me, though. This game can be odd and really fucking infuriating sometimes. Hmm. Maybe I just had to spend another 20 bucks to say, yeah, I only like playing artillery. Or rather, I want to play more, it's just that the vehicles don't play like the way I want them to. This one's kind of okay, it's just that I kind of keep getting in situations where... Well... I'm not able to really do much. Hmm. Hmm. Also, our artillery has one team kill. How did that happen? But again, on, on that, you see, it seems like, in a lot of cases, that vehicles that have armor, these tanks in general, all of the vehicles that have armor are not allowed to actually use it, because they can't. They're very big, they're very slow, and when they expose themselves, they're very large targets. But this is what the armor is supposed to stop, but the armor doesn't work. So you're just exposing yourself in a vehicle that can't get out of the way in time. Which leads to the high-speed meta, which is why you have things like the T-67 running the fuck around, basically doing everything. So realistically speaking, until armor is actually usable and reliable, I can't really play the game the way that I want to. That was the other gripe that I had in the super test, or rather, in the sandbox. There were things at work for this, but of course, none of them made it through, obviously, since none of them are in this patch. Like I said, the artillery change was a change that we needed. However, it wasn't all the change that was required. It was just one of the damn things. I'm hoping this will get better, though. But quite honestly, I want to have fun in all these vehicles, but in a lot of cases, they just force me to play ways that I don't want to play the damn vehicles. Like, I could play better if I cared less. That's probably what you're going to see in ranked battles, because I'm just going to be loading gold and, well, clicking things all of the time. But in terms of the general video game at large, not a lot's changed. There's still vehicles that have lots of very good qualities, but are basically not allowed to actually use them. And must play like other vehicles, who are considerably more adept at the same fucking job. Or vehicles that have these weird, in incomparable little fucking minor advantages due to their design. Which are very far and few between, and honestly, they're the most cancerous fucking vehicles in the game most of the time. 
And that's why, because everyone uses them, because you can gain a small advantage out of them. But they're not heroic, honestly. They're all these, like, this, just, it's, this, the, 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 the best tank in this game is still, well, a tank like this, the T-67. There are better tanks than the T-67 at the T-67's job, but it's still this vehicle. It's still a very nimble and fast, lightly armored vehicle with a very, very good gun to compensate, which can wiggle around into situations to completely ignore the advantages of every other fucking tank. And for some reason, it's been considered okay that the armored tanks, the tanks that rely on armor, that are not, that are the polar opposite of this vehicle, just have to sit there and basically deal with it and not expose themselves to being shot in the first place, even though they have armor, which means that they should be able to expose themselves and have a level of security against shit like this. However, a lot of cases, Vehic there are very few vehicles that actually have the armor sufficient enough to do this. This OI is one of them. But then again, everybody calls the OI and the Japanese heavies fucking overpowered because, well, they, because they can't kill them in these fucking go-karts. So I have to ask, why is it that this, this situation is allowed to exist like this? Do the people who play these lightly armored vehicles not see that they are actually contributing to an unbalance? Whereas the fact that there are other vehicles in the game, and they are not allowed to use their strengths because you exist. And for some apparent reason, that is okay to people. And because, additionally, those vehicles cannot use their strengths, they are forced to basically ape vehicles like the T-67 at their job, for which they will always be intrinsically worse. So, I have to ask, what the fuck is going on here? And good he died, I don't care. It's a fucking T-67, I don't want to be carried by him. They win enough games.